Hey guys, it's Mike and Holly and we've got a game to show you today, but we can't actually play it because it would give it away. It's called Escape the Room, the Cursed Dollhouse. Do you need to thank Think Fun for sending this free product to us? Thank you guys. Thank you. So this is actually a really awesome idea. So you know how escape rooms have become super popular in the last few years? This is an escape room that you can do at home. You can do it by yourself. You can do it with your friends or family. Um, and you know, with everybody staying home and playing games, and this is amazing. The problem is, is we cannot play this because it's a puzzle that you have to solve. So imagine like you're in an escape room and you have to work together to get out of the room. It's the same idea. So if, if you we watch show the you guys, video, if you watch the video, you would know what, how the game. Essentially it would be, it would be all spoilers and you would know how to solve the puzzle and it would just ruin it for everyone. So that's why we can't actually show you how to play the game, but we can show you and tell you all about the game. So we need to open it up because this thing is awesome. It turns into an actual doll house and it has that real creepy factor to it. You know, like creepy, scary oh, yeah, right there. dolls. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some dolls included as well for the pieces and just a, a lot of really cool factors to it. Okay, so this is for one to four players. It is for ages 13 and up because it is the creepy factor. <laughs> and they say it takes about two to three hours does, to play this. It does take a long time. More on that later. <laughs> All right, so you are essentially building the house right now by taking it apart and pulling out the pieces. So this is like the attic roof line on the inside. There's a clock. Here. Oh, yeah, yeah. and what's really neat too is throughout this, okay, don't take anything else apart because don't take anything, okay. no, because there are envelopes and there are doors and windows and rugs and for each piece that you lift up, it's revealing like another clue or another hint. We also have this, um, this wheel. So what you use this for is to help you figure out if you've got the hint correct. So there's shapes in each room or little um, little there's colored like pieces an here. There's a weird plastic thing on here that covers this weird. Well, yeah, there's fish also, thing. There's yeah. also um, like three dimensional. So this is all dimensional, right? And there's also dimensional pieces. Like we've got the walls and things that we can build here, but there's also like flooring as well as furniture, and everything has like little hints and little oh, yeah. clues Flaps on it. Open. There's all kinds of little elements to this game. Now, um, mm. what you do is you have this book. <laughs> this is your directions. And you have to take this book and step by step do your setup and do each room and follow this exactly in order to play the game correctly. So here you can see there's like a dimensional table a dimensional um, bed and all these different pieces. So you have to go through, you have to read these instructions very carefully and do it step by step according to the directions. And what you're going to do is like escape each room. Great so doll. you have your doll, which is like your, your, each doll goes to a different room and you go through and you solve rooms. So what you were saying before is this game takes anywhere from two and a half to three hours, right? If you want to, you can play it in sections. So you can like play it for a little while and then once you clear a room, like once you figure out the puzzle for that room, then you can say, okay, let's take a break. We'll come back to it later. You can take days to solve it if you want to, or you know, you can just take little breaks or what have you. Another really awesome thing is they thought of everything. If you get stuck and you just cannot figure it out or maybe you tried to figure it out and you got it wrong and you want to know what you did wrong you can go on their website think fun's website and you can get a hint it's not an answer right you don't want an answer you want a hint so that you can you can know so you can try go back and try to figure this out the correct way so they will give you hints although you know be warned it's like once you get to a certain point and you ask for that hint, then you know you are kind of like forfeiting your ability to do it all by yourself. So you can play this as a family and all work together, or you can even branch off and do it separately. So like separate little puzzles, like, oh, you figure out this room or you figure out that part. So you can kind of use each other's skills 
to figure everything out. I don't want to play it. Can't play it for the video for the camera, yeah. but I'm right. kind of curious now. I want to solve this thing. <laughs> we really, we really don't want to play it to give out any spoilers. Once Michael and I solve a puzzle and then move on and move on and move on, it's just essentially giving it away. It's like we're here to tell you all about an awesome movie that's coming out, but and we tell you everything that happens in the movie. We tell you all the good parts <laughs> of the movie, and then you're like, well, what's the point of even seeing the movie anymore? You have to play the game. <laughs> okay, so it's called Escape the Room, The Cursed Dollhouse, and it is made by Think Fun. You can go to thinkfun.com to find out more there, and I'm guessing these are just in general stores, so. Yeah, and I also, Amazon. I also want to point out that um, some people like think that this is a cool play set, like doll set to have set up. It is really oh, a neat- Like a shadow box type A thing. neat <laughs> display type piece. So if that's your thing or your decor, maybe for Halloween, who knows? <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Bye. Bye.